Hi, welcome to Cairo's house. Today we're going to be changing over the bearings in both my wheels and my free hub. Hi, welcome to this episode. So, what we've got is um, some NTN 6802 ultra low friction bearings for the free hub. We've got the uh, bearing presses and we've got two presses for the 69A2 um, wheel bearings. Okay, so we've got the caps off. It's a bit of a bind because they are not, they're not square. They're a bit uh, angled. That's grease I just put on there just to stop uh, water getting in. I put that in four years ago. They're actually the original bearings that came with the, with the hub. Okay, so after a number of whacks, and I can tell that hasn't been out for four years because that was tough. Uh, after a number of whacks of my tiny tiny hammer yeah um the axle's gone through but now i've hit a snag as i said it's the first time i've done it so the bearings protruding on the other side and the axle is out the axle's free to move but but i can't hit it in anymore on this side because there's nothing to hit. Okay, so the axle is out and the tool of choice was these. Yeah, I put them in there like that and just tapped it with the uh, soft hammer in the vise and the axle came out. But we've come across quite a major problem. Before I ordered the NTN bearings from Hambini, I downloaded the exploded diagram of the DT Swiss 240 hub and it said it had 6902 bearings in it. Um, that's not right. Because these are 6903. So, I've got the wrong size bearings for my wheels. Okay, so I've now got a couple of issues. I've got the free hub uh, body. It's got a few marks in it, as always. Um, but I'm not sure how to tap the axle out. Okay, so I'm back and I've actually learnt something today. It sits like that, but it actually moves around probably that much and you can just see the inner surface of the bearing. So what I did is I poked a screwdriver down and I tapped it out. So now I can put this in the Sonic Cleaner. So I've put my bits through the Sonic Cleaner Hi, welcome back. It's um, a couple of days later. I've managed to get the axle out. Still got the the ring uh, mechanism in there, the lock ring. Um, so the next video I'll do will be me taking out that, then taking out the bearing, and then re-putting in all the new bearings. Things I've learned from this are uh, get a bigger hammer because the little tiddly rubber face hammer I had uh, really didn't cut it. Um, and that's about it. Um, I've also ordered a nylon face mallet as well, just for next time. Um, yeah, I was a bit underprepared. I'd never done it before. I didn't realize how, you know, how much effort I'd have to have after having the bearings in there. Cool, we'll see you on the next video. Like, subscribe, please. We're nearly at a thousand subscribers. I think last time I looked, we were 982. Um, so grateful, thanks very much. Um, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next Cairo's house. Take care, bye.